Hello there. So supermarkets are now being lambasted for selling meat too cheaply. Those very vocal few out there who want the whole human race to just about stop eating meat will be very pleased to see UK supermarkets being taken to task for selling meat too cheaply. But once these people have got us off of meat, what comes next? The charity Eating Better is accusing supermarkets like Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda and Morrison's of bombarding shoppers with cheap meat deals, despite them promising to promote more non-meat food to save the planet and our health. The executive director of Eating Better, Simon Billing, said, The big four are contradicting their own commitments by encouraging customers to buy more meat than they would have if it hadn't been on promotion. And he went on to say that as a result we're eating more meat than we should and it's not good for us. As well as that the intensive farming methods being used are wrecking the planet, he said. Now the government wants us to eat 30% less meat within the next 10 years and the Climate Change Committee said it should be 20-50% to 50 less to save the planet. So that equates to at least a couple of meat-free days a week. But I do have to point out that at the moment the UK is going through a fast tightening cost of living crisis where every single penny counts. So now is probably not the time to be demanding that hard-pressed families fork out more for what they put on the end of their fork. And I've got to say that after the last couple of years of pandemic lockdowns, coupled with potentially more staycations this coming summer due to money being very tight, then the Barbie might be the only distraction people have. And we all know what's best for a Barbie, don't we? Barbecue boiled cabbage doesn't quite cut it. But when they've got us eating less meat and eating more fruit and veg, I reckon that some bright spark will then find a reason as to why that's the new problem. Especially as we end up using ever more agricultural land to produce biomass for carbon-free fuel. Then it'll be back to the dung beetle soup and mashed grasshopper argument again. Until that's deemed as inhumane. Or that hideous factory manufactured gloop scientists keep trying to push on us. Well, for the great unwashed masses anyway, be in no doubt the rich and powerful will still have bellies full of top rate meat. Now, if the government gets its way over this, then what we're going to see is a massive change in our diet. And that will include the nation's children. And looking at how they've been treated over the last couple of years and the worries about medical repercussions on development of the pandemic, we should also be very wary about this one too. Because if dietary change adversely affects children, what do you think the government and business answer will be? A return to a traditional diet or expensive patented supplements and medications? First they came for our meat, and we ended up meekly on Soylent Green. <laughs>